what's up designers welcome back to the channel it's bright here today we are diving into how to create dotted shapes with your smartphone using pixel app that can add unique thoughts to your designs so let's jump right in and get creative the first thing to do is to um, import the shape that you want to use depending on what you want to achieve deport any kind of shape all right let's go to um, the shape and import the shape we want to use all right so um let's edit this sh shape all right then you click ok then change the shape color to black or any color aside white all right then um, use the relative position key to place the shape at the center then once that is done then you lock the shape and duplicate you copy all right you copy the shape now once you copy the shape you go back to edit then reduce the opacity to zero once you reduce it to zero you go to stroke and increase the stroke you either increase it to one all right, you increase it to one or to two, but I'll be leaving it at two. Then you click OK. You also place that at the center. Now let's hide the previous shape that we created. Let's hide it. Then also, don't forget to lock so that you do not move. The shape will not move. Now, go to the text bar. Then import the text. Go to edit, then impute this. Go to your keyboard and impute this exact stuff, this um exact line that I'm going to impute now. All right, let me um adjust my keyboard. Let me adjust my keyboard. All right impute this go to your your keyboard and impute this line remember we are having uh we have a long shape so we are going to make sure this also is long sorry about that all right so um let's check all right we still have to add more Let's add more. Let's reduce it a little bit. All right, we have something like this. Now, use the relative position key. Tap the, the one at the center, the top one at the center. All right. So you, you duplicate these lines. Bring them down. And do the same thing with relative buttons. You will duplicate it again but this time you'll be making it a vertical line now let's reduce let's add more to this a little bit just take note of what i'm doing here all right Now, bring it over to this place. Let's reduce it a little bit. Just keep, you know, toggling around to get the right, to get the right thing. All right, this is okay. Now this time we'll move it at the right hand side. This time when you go to relative position key, touch the one, the center one, add it down. All right, then this is it. Let's also add a few more lines to cover it up. All right, and that's that is it.
duplicate this also then bring it to the other side then you know do the same thing now let's change the color of the main um the main shape lock all these now let's change the color of the main shape let's change the color to um let's say red let's change it to red then match all this shape aside from the first one that you created so you're going to match the shape with the lines take note you are not matching the last one all right just this four this five rather then you merge as you can see we now have one um shape here then go to go to erase color click on erase color use touch on the picker and select the black this can be easier if we used white but nevertheless all are see the same all right now here's the picker then increase the tolerance increase the tolerance and boom we have this all right so you can apply you can create this um dotted lines on any kind of shape you can you know add reduce to the shape any kind of shape at all any kind of shape at all thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you won't miss any video that we are going to be uploading on this channel see you on the next one